Well, good morning again, church. We're going to be picking up where we left off yesterday in the book of Jonah, where we just read where this large fish swallowed him up, how so many people immediately try to discredit that this actually could be a real story just based on that fact, but how we believe in a God that works in supernatural ways at times, and that we don't have any problem believing that this is a true event, true story of a man's life. As we continue on today, chapter 2 is typically a part that we don't really focus on too much in the story of Jonah, and it's what happens while he's in the belly of this giant fish. And so we're going to start in verse 1. We're just going to read four verses today, and we're going to talk about what Jonah's saying in those verses. It says, Jonah prayed to the Lord, his God, from the belly of the fish. I called to the Lord in my distress, and he answered me. I cried out to help from deep inside Sheol. You heard my voice. You threw me into the depths, into the heart of the seas, and the current overcame me. All your breakers and your billows swept over me. But I said, I have been banished from your sight, yet I will look once more toward your holy temple. So first and foremost... Jonah prays, which I think if any of us were in his situation, we'd probably do the same thing. So he starts praying to God, and and the first thing he says is recognizing, God, regardless of where I am, I know you hear me, and you can answer me. Now, he doesn't say it's going to be the answer he'd necessarily want, but he makes it clear he knows that God knows where he's at at all times. He even says, I cried out from deep inside Sheol. Now, Sheol is not, he he didn't name the giant fish. Sheol is used a lot of times in the Old Testament, especially, uh, but both in the New Testament too. And and referring to basically the underworld or where you'd go when you're dead or like the lowest place you could possibly go. And so he's saying, God, when I'm at my lowest, you still hear me and know where I'm at. Now, I hope Jonah would have figured out by now that God absolutely knows where he's at all the time, regardless of situation, but let's be real. God is the reason he's in this fish. God sent this fish to do this supernatural thing, kind of what we talked about yesterday. God obviously knows where he's at at this point. And so I I think it's important that he is acknowledging, God, I I get that you you are there regardless of what I'm going through. And, And church, I hope we recognize the same thing, that when we're in our darkest moments, and sometimes like Jonah, We're in those dark moments because of our own actions, that we're the reason we're in those dark times, that even then God hears us. There's nothing we could possibly do that is too far away from him for him to forgive. We just need to come to him and and repent, say, God, I'm sorry I did these things. Forgive me. And he's there with open arms. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We're going to pick up uh, the rest of this prayer that Jonah gives in the book of Jonah. So we'll see you then.